I have um, put this out there before, and I've I've actually talked about um, several reasons why Medicare for All would actually benefit businesses. Mm -hmm. um, that's me legit notifying myself that I've gone live. <laughs> I got a silence. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. I ha I have actually I created a graphic about um, a year and a half ago that I circulated out about like the business case for, for why Medicare for all is actually beneficial to business owners and why it would be um, something that would be better for everybody, right? Like it's better for everybody. Obviously, okay, obviously the number one reason we want Medicare for all is because um, it would be better for our society as a whole that um, nobody would have to worry about whether or not they can actually get treated in the event of um, needing, you know, some medical attention, right? And obviously that's more important this year than ever because of the pandemic that we're going through. But what is crazy is that we're still debating this. Um, we have a lot of businesses that are actually folding right now that are not, even though we've, uh, our congressional leaders have put forward two various stimulus packages to try and help us through our crisis. I mean, can you, I mean, I think this is a hard thing for most people to actually like really let it sink in how severe our consequences are right now and um, how badly, like how badly Trump personally positioned us um, because he kept trying to pretend that everything was like fake and it wasn't really a big deal, right? So business owners are already having the problem of, um, trying to even stay afloat, right? Because the people, um, even if you are an anti-mask QAnon believing person who, um, believes in Trump and you want to keep your business open, you're probably still not actually getting enough people to actually frequent your business to actually keep you where you were financially like a year ago. Right. Um, and on top of it, you've probably created such a divisive situation where you, you are like, I don't respect this. I don't believe in it. So then you've actually lost a lot of customers, right? The reality is that for Medicare for all, um, what we are basically saying is that healthcare should not be tied to your employment. And, um, our government in the United States has actually, um, created the scenario at perhaps not intentionally and perhaps intentionally, um, has created a scenario where in order to actually get healthcare in this country, you actually have to have employment and it has to be provided by your employer, which means that the business owners are actually responsible for negotiating and coming up with those plans. What we're seeing decade over decade is more employers over and over again, giving you less hours because they don't want to have to be responsible for providing benefits. Because if somebody makes, um, if they're working 32 plus hours a week, then they technically qualify for benefits, right? So, um, so you're doing more to actually like have part-time staff. Um, so you're putting your staff in a position where they are, um, healthcare insecure and potentially insecure in other areas of their life, whether it be food or housing or anything else. And if your employees are constantly worried about their life existence, they're not going to, obviously they're not going to give you their best work. Right. So, um, consider this. Do you want to continuously negotiate plans with a bunch of businesses who legit offer us absolutely no value and they're just middlemen who, we're able to get in there and um, have the ability to negotiate these plans, despite the fact that they do nothing other than pay push paper. They do nothing other than push paper. Or would you like to see your costs go down, your employees' stability go up, uh, their productivity go up because they're less stressed out, and they can show up more because they get sick less, um, I, there are so many reasons to do this. And it's amazing to me that we're even still having this debate when most first world nations have already transitioned. And here we are in the U S still listening to people like freaking president Trump. 
Um, we're in a pandemic, y'all. Lobby your senators. Lobby President Biden. Let's make this happen. Let's get Medicare for all.